I'd like to do a complete configuration with you so you can see it from soup to dessert, a BGP configuration. Let's begin. And I'm not going to be overly verbose about what I'm doing. I just want you to see it. And there will certainly be things to talk about. So on R1, and I've got uh, internal connectivity between all of my devices in these autonomous systems with an IGP. EIGRP is running on uh, 64500. OSPF is running on 64501. What am I going to do? Well, I'm setting up R1, which is an IBGP router, right? So I'm going to have a lot of configuration to, to get through. Now, I'm going to be peering to all of the other routers in my autonomous system because I would be affected by the IBGP split horizon rule. 64500. There's a lot of config to get through, but we won't shy away. We'll do it all. I'm going to update source, loopback zero. I think it's loopback zero. Do shy p interface brief. Good. Okay, so I think I got a good config on R1 peering with all the other routers. I'm not going to advertise networks just yet. Let's move over to R2, do the same thing. So these addresses are running on my loopback interfaces, just so we're clear. Not doing a lot of verification. Do the verification later. Isn't that great seeing that up? Looks good. Um, do update source, loop back zero for all of these. Very possible with the speed which I'm doing it, which may not seem fast to you that I'm going to make a mistake, but I can always correct that. It's got to be from a previous setup that I did. We'll blow it away. So we'll say neighbor. Six four five hundred nine two. You can see it's great having these loopback interfaces on the routers. It makes it a lot easier to configure these network statements or these neighbor statements. Getting a little tedious. Tedium is better than making a mistake, though, which I'm sure I will do. After this point, I'm definitely going to do some verification, so I am sure that I've got my autonomous system looking good. Do show IP BGP summary. Good. Give that a little bit more time. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? We see the prefixes are looking good. 
So I'm just going to move on. I don't see any glaring issues. I've got a full mesh between R1, 2, 3, 4. That helps me deal with the split horizon rule. I'm peering between my loopback interfaces. Update source loopback gets me uh, resilient, although there's no options, it looks like, in my topology. Okay, so R4 is going to peer over to R5. Am I going to peer with this loopback interface? No, I am not. I'm going to do neighbor 172.16.33.5. Mode AS 64501. Looks like I'm going to peer to R6 also. We'll just peer over the frame relay network. That'll do. I'm not going to worry about ISP, these ISPs also. It's just straw that broke the camel's back. Good. Okay. Just. Making sure I don't have anything too glaring like wrong. So I'm on R5. So I want to have a BGP relationship with R4. 7216. So you're pointing to physical addresses when you're doing eBGP. That's the norm. that a chance to cook. Neighbor 192.777. Full mesh of IBGP peers. That's the way to do it unless you're doing route reflectors or confederations, which are not a topic I want to get into. Good. Looks good. And you might be thinking, well, I could do some copying and pasting from Notepad. It's not really my style. It's a stylistic choice. I'm on R6, which needs to peer. I do copying and pasting from the iOS. And hey, I'm a, I'm a CCIE, so it's not like I'm slow. was actually waiting. I wanted to make sure that that was good. 192. It's a lot to configure. We'll go over to R7, complete the neighborship between these devices. Pretty arduous task getting that set up. Still going. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I am seeing no prefixes received, but that looks... If you're like, well, do a show IP BGP neighbors.
seeing established that's looking good so everything looks fine to me so I've got my neighborship prepared in my autonomous system so when you're doing an eBGP neighborship you're just gonna point to the IP addresses when you're doing iBGP we're gonna do things like update source loopback and um, and you know what I didn't even do something that I think is really important and that is next hop self but I'll save that for another discussion because I want to show you how it could impact us.